Bellator MMA 299. We're close to 300. Cool. It's September 23rd on Showtime. An American top team, one of the best gyms, if not the best gym in the world, will be well represented, including one of its top welter rates with one of the coolest nicknames ever. Thank you, the sleek chic, Sabah Hamasi. Thank you so much. Tell us about Bellator 299. This thing's in Dublin, Ireland. That's cool in itself. You're on the card. I believe there's four American top team fighters on the card. You're in. You're on the main card on Showtime. Just what does this all mean to you? Tell us about this big event. Uh, this massive man stack card in Dublin, Ireland, where the crowd is is crazy, which I love. Um, it, I'm I'm just excited for it. First time fighting overseas. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to go check out Dublin, not only to go there as a tourist, but also compete there as a mixed martial artist. So I'm excited for that. It's interesting because say first time traveling overseas and what is the time frame? Are you getting over there a couple weeks ahead of time to get used to things over there? How does that work for you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not my first time traveling overseas, first time fighting overseas, but uh, we're leaving on Friday. Johnny and I are leaving Friday. Um, so we're, we're just heading out a little bit early to get to adjust to the time change and whatnot. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll be fine either way. It doesn't matter where we fight, man. It's uh doesn't matter. We can go anywhere and fight. A fight to fight. Up. That's right. So on this one, you've got Chokeli. And there's some interesting ties there because in one of his uh, past two fights, he fought one of your teammates. Roman Feraldo, who also is going to be on this big card. He's got a big fight as well. Sure Do you take anything away from things like that when your teammates fight somebody, or is it it's different? It's different because you're a different fighter. Uh, I'm definitely a different fighter um, than the you know two of my teammates that he's fought. The advantage I have is that they have fought him. They know what his strong suits are. They know what he's good at doing. And, um, you know, obviously I sit down with my coaches and we watch film and we break down. Uh, the fighter and see what he does what he goes to a lot and whatnot so we have we have that um but at the end of the day you know it's all about getting in there and performing to my best ability so that's what i'm looking forward to doing on saturday night and that's what he does well and his record overall 17 11 he's won two of his last three fights my record yes and yep. where does this victory what does a victory for you what does it mean to you where does it get you next you don't look that far ahead uh i don't look that far ahead because you know as of right now we don't know what's happening with bellator and pfl there's a lot of rumors going around and you know of course it's stressful and it's hard not to think about but all my focus is on this upcoming fight i can't think about anything else besides what's directly in front of me and that's fighting 11 on september 23rd so after that fight we could sit down and move forward once we have a better understanding of what's happening. But until then, you know, I, I can't really waste any time or energy focusing on something that isn't, we don't have any control over, you know, so we just have to sit tight and wait. It's interesting too, because again, we're not going to focus on that, but it's curious because you did mention PFL and you guys have a couple of fighters that are going to be in the PFL finals as well so that's going to be an exciting time american top team whether it's bellator pfl ufc just we can go on and on and on so many great fighters there what have you learned being a part of the american top team team so much so much it's uh never stop learning you know uh, we have so much talent there we have great coaches um you know it's just there's so much information there's so much info to download that is sometimes overwhelming um so the best thing to do is just take it bits and pieces at a time and work those and perfect those and then you know while also adding other tools here to, to your box you know that you could quickly add on to your game um so it's you know it's the work never stops even after fights we're back in the gym we're training we're getting better and that's the time to get better that's the time to sharpen all the tools and whatnot um so yeah man i'm you know this is just great i'm i'm honored to go overseas fight in dublin um especially in front of that crowd because i you know i've seen prior events when they were in dublin and it's just a packed house with a
bunch of maniacs in there and i love it it's great and that's because you're a maniac yourself <laughs> that's right <laughs> you know it <laughs> you know it. it's it's so cool i when i go to american top team and it's in south florida coconut creek awesome i mean everywhere i look to the left i look to the right i look to the middle there's a top fighter man or woman that's training there and one thing i know and i i can't speak for other gyms because i don't know but the thing is even when you're not fighting i see you all there training you're they're helping each other and even though i know it's an individual sport there is that team aspect am i on to that that's a big thing at att absolutely man and that's that's the great thing about the place you know i've been with them since 2008 and you know never crossed my mind about going to another gym there's no need i'm not the best gym in the world you know and i believe that you know and we have awards to prove that you know um i don't even know how many champions we've had you know we have we have to expand the the uh belt showcase we have to get more of it you know it's like we, the belts just keep coming in so we got like i said we have great coaches we have we have a great squad with us you know these guys are there day in and day out training to get better you know it's like everyone's on the same mission we got the same goal so we're going to be there for each other to help each other whether or not we have fights lined up or not you know we're there and for this fight who has been helping you with this one have you been working out with johnny have you been working out with roman are there others that you've been working out without giving uh, too much away deandre silva um lindsey jones you know a lot of guys i got a lot of guys helping me um I mean, the list goes on, man. I just, I'm having a brain fart over here, but, you know, <laughs> good, good squad behind me, my coaches, you know, my team. So it's, I'm, I'm well prepared. I got one more hard go tomorrow and camp comes to a close. And who will be in your corner? Who's going to uh, Dublin, Ireland with you? Uh, I have uh, Mike Brown, Tiago Alves, and uh, Dustin Poirier. Man, like, listen to that. I mean, that's just a, for him. He sits there and he says it, and he says it very calmly, coolly, you know. But when you're when you're a fan, when you're passionate about this, and he, yeah. he's throwing those names out, it's just like, my God, it's a who's who? Who's gonna be in the corner? Uh, those are my brothers, man. You know, we um, we've built a relationship over the years that bonded us, you know, very close together, and, I, and I'm grateful for those guys. So. Yeah, I, I need them. I need them by my side going into war. What a team to have going into war too, and it'll be in Dublin, Ireland, September twenty third on Showtime, Bellator MMA two ninety nine, and we'll just wrap it up with this. I mean, for you, you've been fighting, you've been going at it. You're at this great gym training and all. What are you looking forward to? What is it that you want? Where do you want to be? Where's what are the goals here? Future goals. If Bellator stays open and they stay running as a company, I plan to climb the ladder and, and eventually get a title shot. Um, but there is one fight that I do want to run back, and that's with Brennan Ward. So I'll, I'll go, you know, right now I got, I'm going to keep it under the rug, but I'll go public with it after after this fight and let, you know, people know the real story about what happened. So I had a, some some health issues come up, and uh, but that's that's irrelevant right now. And uh, after the fight, we'll go ahead and and uh, let let the people know what what truly happened. And you know that's that's a fight I definitely want back. Well, the sleek sheep, thank you so much. You know, I'm I'm heading out of this thing and all. You're gracious. I'm thank you for your time. But you know, okay. I have to ask the sleek sheep. Okay, who comes up with that? Because that's got to be one of the coolest nicknames ever. Either where. Dude, it was really funny. I'm actually at my brother's house, and every single time I go there and I see one of his friends, he kept on calling me the Sleek Sheik. And um, he's like, man, I'm not going to call you the problem, because they called me the problem before, prior to that. And I was like, I'm not calling you the problem, man. You're the Sleek Sheik, man. <laughs> so it kind of like stuck with me. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm kind of feeling the Sleek Sheik vibe. So I, I picked it up and ran with it. So I see you got the American Top Team t-shirt. Do you have a Sleek Sheik t-shirt yet? I do not, man. I do not. I'm, I'm going to get on it. I'm going to get on it and have some uh, some apparel made and whatnot. So don't That's be right. Talk to Richie. Talk to Richie. Let's get Richie involved in this thing. <laughs> I'll tell Puma to get on it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, Sleek Sheik, thank you so much. All the best, Bella Tour MMA 299, September 23rd on Showtime from Dublin, Ireland. All the best to you. Best of luck. The Irish right. luck for you. Thank you so much.